Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Matthew Rasmussen, and students oftentimes have a question on what is the distinction between an agonist and an antagonist? Well, first of all, they're very similar in that they both influence the, the levels of a neurotransmitter in some way. Um, what an agonist does is it increases the effectiveness of a neurotransmitter, whereas an antagonist, it decreases the effectiveness of the neurotransmitter. So let me give you a way in which this goes about doing it. Here is a direct approach, okay, the direct approach. Uh, here we have a receptor site, uh, and the receptor site is the area that is on the dendrite of the neuron, and this receptor site receives a neurotransmitter. And when that neurotransmitter binds with the receptor site, the receptor site opens gates, and then ions are allowed to rush in, or rush out depending upon the receptor site and the neurotransmitter. But let's pretend that we don't have the body's natural neurotransmitter, we have an agonist, something that comes with outside of the body, as demonstrated here with these post-it notes. Now, these post-it notes are ingested into the body, and somehow they just match up with that same receptor site, thus creating a direct agonist matching up, basically mimicking the body's natural neurotransmitter and thus allowing the gates to open and potentially um, having ions rush in. And that would be direct agonist and that they are directly um, influencing the levels of activation within the brain. Now, let's pretend that we have the same receptor site, but we take a different chemical, okay? We ingest a different chemical. We have this um, band uh, uh, bands um, wristband and this wristband comes into our body somehow don't try this at home but anyhow you have the wristband that comes in and now it again binds with the receptor site however it has no physiological properties that are going to make some sort of reaction it's not going to open the gates it essentially just blocks the receptor site that is a direct antagonist where nothing is allowed to occur. So basically a direct antagonist just blocks that receptor site, nothing can happen, okay? So that's one way to go about it is with the direct agonist or the direct antagonist, all right? Um, I hope this helped in your understanding of what an agonist versus an antagonist is and um, have a great day.